Watch. Buenos dias. Good morning, Mr. Cooper. Good morning, everyone. Hey, everybody. Good morning. It is November 18th, 2023. Welcome to CBS Saturday Morning. Breaking overnight, forced to flee. Hundreds of people who had been sheltering at Gaza's largest hospital are evacuated on foot. Who ordered them out and details on those unable to leave? Diddy Settlement, just one day after being hit by a lawsuit containing accusations of sexual and physical abuse, Sean Combs and his former girlfriend strike an undisclosed deal. Hear what Combs said moments after it was announced. Panda diplomacy. After America's National Zoo had to send their furry friends back to China, there's new hope for a return of the beloved bears. We'll look at the prospects and the half-century history of the exchange. And formula for disruption. After a flaw with the track and a major traffic headache, we'll head to Las Vegas for the latest on the half-billion dollar F1 race that has snarled the city and already angered some Sin City residents. But first, we begin this morning with a look at today's eye-opener. Anyone can do it. Even me? Sure, even me. All you need is long hair, makeup, and tight pants. And we can get that stuff right here in your mom's closet. Yeah, sure. That's right, Billy. Yeah. See, he saw the picture of you on the computer and that you would go play when you were playing basketball. And, and who else in the world does that? Her name is Mr. Big Baby Taco Term. I want it. But she likes me best. Besides, I already got teeth. Uh, Go downstairs. But I must finish my juice box. Nothing up. Hmm. Nice. Oh my goodness, you are so cute. I think I will call you Juan and you Juanita. Yeah, I, I, I really um, thought that the finale was awesome. No, I got everything I needed after that hug. Way to go, Eduardo! You captured the cannibal ghost! And it was the most delicious badger ever. That was amazing! Good job, Agents Puppy and Catswell! You've done tough proud! This is nice! Everyone's being super helpful today! My name isn't really Francisco, it's Francesca. My mom wanted a girl. I found some oats! My thirst isn't on the loose anymore! I just want to thank you all for your help! Mount Bear River is flowing again! The other storm drains are painted too. And the whole map there water set too. I was just gonna say that. Yes, I saved the forest. You're our hero. I am feeling like me again. Exactly. Yes, more than anything. You kings and queens of Woodland Valley. Oh, Lord, I am so excited. I just know that this time I am going to get camp store. I think I just found what I was looking for. Try taking a dip in Big Springs, little bee. I'm sure the fish there will get you clean. When there's too many fish in the lake, the crocodiles come and eat the fish. It's the circle of life at its finest. I have to admit, for someone your size, you're a surprisingly good hider. Bunga, your smell must be even scarier than a snake's. That's just how Bunga smells. He's always been a bit, uh, fragrant. If you ask me, I think Bunga smells fine, just the way he is. Yeah. And in Bunga's case, he's a stinky little honey badger. Thanks, Uncle Timon. Pretty. Glad to be almost alive. Really? Gracias. This morning's eye opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. Oh, yeah. See? Go, go. Totally. Hmm. A Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Apple has it on all the time, not to give them a plug, but yeah. you know, watch yeah, all the specials. Yeah, watch this year, I, Charles Schultz is the greatest. I know. Love the was Good. Oh, welcome to the weekend, everybody. I'm Michelle Miller along with My name is Eduardo. Jeff, Laura, and Dana Jacobson. And this morning, we're going to take you to Panama. That's right, to borrow. Colorado Island, the world's oldest continuously studied tropical forest. It's here in the middle of one of the busiest waterways in the world where the Smithsonian's Institute has spent a century learning about the plants and animals here. 
will go deep inside and up above this incredible project. Then it is off to Chicago to review the legacy of two of the best known film critics. Siskel and Ebert were famous for their thumbs up, thumbs down takes on movies. And now a detailed history of their relationship is being released. We're gonna take a look back with the author. And speaking of authors and films, acclaimed crime novelist James Elroy has had a bunch of his books brought to the big screen, including L.A. Confidential. We'll travel to Los Angeles to speak with Elroy about his new novel that has roots in one of Hollywood's biggest scandals. Mm. Then we are coming up on the big Thanksgiving holiday, so how about some pie? All right. Or better yet, how about some of the most spectacular slices America has to offer? They come from the Little Pie Company and its founder, Arnold Wilkerson. You can almost smell them through the TV. Just, just think about it. Oh, salivating. Yeah, that is coming up in the dish. Are you guys hungry? Yeah! Yeah! Yes! 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 Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Delicious carrot cake. It was so delicious, I ate the whole thing. Almost. Now it's gone. And we'll send you off this Saturday with a performance from a talented new singer, songwriter Abby Hamilton, who performed from her debut album later on in our Saturday session. Oh yeah, for sure. Me too. That and so much more is all ahead. But we begin with this morning's top story, breaking overnight. Hundreds of people who had been sheltering at Gaza's largest hospital evacuated on foot. The Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry says more than 100 patients, including premature babies, are still unable to leave Al-Shifa Hospital. Israeli forces claim Hamas is operating an underground command center there. It is a claim Hamas and the hospital deny. The evacuation comes after a night of deadly airstrikes in South Gaza. Israeli military forces warned civilians again, many who had already fled on foot from the north to relocate as it prepares to expand its ground attacks.